What's up? I'm Mikael and I'm a sophomore at UNC and I'm from Davie County, North Carolina. Go War Eagles! Coming to UNC, I was super nervous. I did Young Life in high school and um, my roommate, um, his brother was a senior at UNC and he was like, yo, you should do this and you should be into it. And like I said, I was super nervous about trying to go to UNC, but I went to Count Away Camp and through that met a lot of Young Life people and just people across a bunch of ministries and it's been a beautiful community and family that's grown with me. I went to Count Away um, my freshman year and it was such an, a big part of my life because I was, remember being, I remember like talking to a lot of my friends before I left the house and I was just like, I'm really worried about not being able to find like Christian community. And going to Count Away, it was such a transformative time for me because I just felt like I met so many people and got to see just how big like the scope of like Christianity is and is moving and God is there at UNC. And I remember on the last day, they gave us these like bright yellow shirts and like I still have mine. And I was like, uh, like, like there's a lot of us here, but it's crazy like, like oh, like, I'm never, I don't, probably won't see a lot of these like yellow shirts. And I, every day, like when I remember walking through campus or like going or doing whatever, I always see a yellow shirt. And I always smile, and I always think of like my time at Cal in a way, but just also like just how present God is at UNC. And it's so refreshing, it's just so awesome. Going into my senior year, I went to um, summer camp with Young Life at Cal in a Point. And there I really started to take my faith like, like more seriously, and I wanted to pursue that going into college. And a lot of like older mentors, um, especially like kind of like been like in my life, and I wanted to make sure that when I got to UNC, I'd still have like those people there that would care for me in such a way and if I recommend one thing I'd tell somebody that's going to UNC like what got me through my freshman year especially those first two or three months that were just so hard is having like a couple of senior guys or girls that have been through the process and I, I can call like at 1 a.m. in the morning and be like hey I'm like struggling with this or I'm going through this can you help me and like just love on me well because it's important to have people that love on you well. The guys in my suite have been such a big influence on my faith. We all kind of met through various people in Young Life and through that have been able to hold like Bible studies and just be like super accountable um, for each other. And that's been such an incredible just movement and just like massively affect on my life. Whenever we always talk about like with us, like a big part of college, it was being able to pursue faith with these guys. And a big step of that is where a lot of us are Young Life leaders. And just to be able to have like that community to go back to whenever you're done, because leading is hard and it's difficult and it's one of the craziest things I've done with my faith, but it's also been one of the things I've been able to grow in it the most because I've had guys with me. Um, the study center is like super important and super special to me because the first time like I ever went to UNC, I went to see a concert uh, spe uh, specifically Pacific and AC Lee, and it was so cool. Um, just to be there and then go to Carolina Way and just to go like swing dancing and just like having Bible studies and leadership training here. It's been such a special place because it's really an awesome way to see how like community and like Christian life like interact and how it doesn't have to be just like a bubble that you go to, but it truly is like an all encompassing thing and it's important like to have places like that. If I could describe the study center in two words, it would be really awesome. Academics, like my whole life has kind of been a big um, just like stressor, but also a big like portion of my life. And coming to college, it was like kind of hard like to find that boundary for me in terms of like trying to like figure out how to best pursue my faith and also like balance my academics. And I think it's important to know when I went to fall camp, um, I was wanting to get through the weekend and I wanted to leave early because I had a project that was due the next day. And I was like, I'm just gonna leave Saturday night and like, I'll go have fun or whatever and then it'll be done. But my leader um, made me stay and she was like, you'll always have academics, but you'll never have like times to like, really be away from like everybody and like around and they like, can be able to wholly like have like, you and God. And I think like, like rush with your academics, pursue them, but also have time for Christ. One thing that I wish I knew going into freshman year would definitely be just like the first two or three weeks are a lot and it's just like everybody's wanting you to go there, 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 there. But it's important that you do what you love to do and what you want to do and what you're excited about. But also like just take time to rest and just to kind of sit in where you're at because like I think everyone goes like 90 miles an hour but I think once you go five you get to really see what a beautiful place UNC is. February 23rd, a day that I will remember for the rest of my life, I got placed at Orange High School. 
And I remember going to um, Orange and like the night before, and I was like, I was always like the hype young life guy. I wore the fanny pack, had the stuff, half the chacos and the kavu, and I was like, I'm pumped up. I'm ready just to like, I'm ready to do it. And I'm just like really excited. And I remember getting there, and um, my the leader was like, just go there, just like have a party, like get excited, do your thing. Like that we know like that's like your high girl high motor dude. And I was like, okay, I'm there. I, I'm totally about to do this. I remember getting in there, they played, um, they played Timber, and I was like, oh, this is my song, I'm ready for it. And I go in there and I start jumping around, and I start going, and I start going, and I was like, wait a minute, like, no one here is jumping, and no one here is like, doing anything. And I remember just leaving the place, and I was like, guys, I don't know what happened, I'm just like, I'm a, I'm a mess right now. Like just like it just was super humbling. And one of my couple of my leaders like and like teammates met me at the battle house the next day, and we talked it over. And like, it was a, such a humbling moment for me at Carolina because it's not about like whatever I do. It's how God moves like through us. And I think through all that happens and all, through all the things that you do in Carolina, I think it's important to know like where God is in that for you.